Hello YouTube, this is Agent Shu. Some of you may know me as Peter. My friend Tim and I were playing at Striker Airsoft on Adult Night when we met this guy. I'll just call him Mr. Bandana. On multiple occasions, he does not call his hits when we shot him at point-blank range. Ah, hey! Were we both hit? No, you just hit. Oh, damn it! I guess not. I think someone came to replace him. Ow, 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 ow. Are you kidding me, man? Bro, you hit the wall behind me. Seriously? Yeah, okay. Dude. The dot was right on you. Ow. Oh, 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 oh. It got worse when he rushed near our spawn and kept spawn killing our teammates by shooting through a crack in the door. We, on the other hand, could not engage him. What the? What the? The yeah, the green bandana. What the hell? After that disastrous game, Tim reported to the referees about Mr. Bandana's dishonesty. However, Mr. Bandana just kept claiming that he didn't cheat, putting up a scene, and threatening to fight Tim. Thankfully, no fistfight ever occurred between them but we will never forget this incident. As for all you cheaters out there, if there's one thing I know, it's that we live in a world where people record everything they do. Nowadays, airsoft players will most likely wear a camera on their heads. They will catch more than just their victories and defeats. They will also catch cheaters whether they realize it or not and most likely post that video on YouTube for all the world to see. Therefore, you will not be able to cheat your way out of a controversial situation. If you keep up your dishonest habits, then no one will want to play with you anymore. Not only will the players take notice, but so will the referees. They are responsible for making Airsoft safe and enjoyable for everyone, and if necessary, punishing cheaters at their discretion. So if they do notice you long enough, they will punish you by either making you sit out the rest of the game or kicking you out of the field. Therefore, if you want to keep playing Airsoft, then start being honest with yourself, the other players, and the referees. I admit that in Airsoft, it's easy to get caught up in the excitement and lose your focus. I've made plenty of mistakes in Airsoft, and I'll keep making mistakes as long as I play Airsoft. But the more I learn from my mistakes and apply those lessons, the more I will enjoy Airsoft. That's way better than being an ignorant, sore loser. In the end, calling your hits is not the end of the world. Doing so only makes you an honest player. And all Airsoft players like to play with honest players. But more importantly, the referees and or staff will keep welcoming honest players to their field. As for me, it's not my place to discipline dishonest players. That's entirely the referee's job. But I will at most times, if not always, try to confirm with the other player whether he or she is hit or not. More importantly, I will try to be honest with my actions. It's not how many kills I score. It's about having fun. Thank you for taking your time to listen to this message. Have a nice day.